Hello everyone, welcome to Infosec Train. My name is Amit Pandey and I am a trainer at Infosec Train. Today's topic that we are going to discuss is AWS CLI. The AWS Kanlai Interface CLI is a unified tool to manage your AWS service, which is what tool to download and configure. You can control multiple AWS services from the command line and automate them through the script. AWS CLI support multiple services such as EC2, S3, Lambda, and more. It supports multiple programming languages such as Python, Java, and .NET. To get started with an AWS CLI, first you need to install it on your computer. You can do it by following the instruction on the AWS CLI website. Once installed, you can access the CLI by opening a terminal window and typing AWS followed by the command you want to run. One of the most common use case of the AWS CLI is managing Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud EC2 instance. With the CLI, you can start, stop, and terminate instances as well as create, delete, and list instances. You can also use CLI to manage security group, keyware, and elastic IP associated with the EC2 instance. Another common use case is managing Amazon Simple Storage Service S3 bucket and object. With CLI, you can create, delete, and list S3 bucket as well as upload, download, and delete object within those buckets. CLI also supports managing permissions for this S3 object and buckets. AWS Lambda is a serverless compute service that runs your code without providing or managing service. AWS CLI can be used to manage Lambda function, such as creating, updating, and deleting function, as well as invoking them. Additionally, you can also manage the event, sources, and environment variables associated with the Lambda function. In addition to these services, AWS CLI also supports many other AWS services such as Elastic Beanstalk, CloudFormation, and CloudWatch. You can also use CLI to create, update, and delete resources for your services as well as retrieve information about them. AWS CLI also supports automation through scripting. You can write script that automate repetitive tasks such as creating a set of EC2 instance or backing up S3 bucket. You can write script that automatically repetitive tasks. A AWS CLI also supports automation through scripting. You can write script that automate repetitive tasks such as creating a set of EC2 instance. The script can be written in multiple programming languages such as Python, Java, .NET. The AWS CLI is a powerful tool, allow you to manage your AWS service from the command line. It supports multiple services and programming language and can be used to automate repetitive tasks through scripting. By mastering the AWS CLI, you can greatly simplify your work with AWS and increase your productivity. So now let's talk about the disadvantage of using a CLI. The one disadvantage of AWS CLI is that it can be difficult to learn and use for users who are not familiar with the command line interface. The CLI requires users to have a basic understanding of the command line interface and the structure of the command line and option. This can be a barrier for some users who are more comfortable with a graphical user interface. Another disadvantage is that AWS CLI requires a certain level of technical expertise. Users need to have a good understanding of the AWS service they are working with and the structure of the command and option. This can be a challenge for users who are not familiar with AWS but have limited technical experience. Another disadvantage is that AWS CLI do not have the same level of visual feedback as the AWS Management Console. This can make it difficult for the user to track progress of long-running tasks or troubleshooting error. Finally, the AWS CLI do not have the same level of integration with other tools and services as the AWS Management Console. This means that the user need to use the other tool or service in conjunction with the CLI to perform certain tasks. So these are the pros and the cons of the AWS CLI. This is for today. Thank you.